All right, let's do a pack one, pick one with the Keldheim pack we opened the other day. First off, we have Master Scald. Uh, five mana, four, four. You can exile a creature card from your graveyard to return an artifact or enchantment to your hand from your graveyard. Uh, most of the time, this is probably going to be a five mana, four, four. Um, if people are running enchantment or artifact removal, it's probably Masked Vandal, and that actually exiles it, so probably won't come across an opportunity where you'll get to return something, even if it is removed. So, not too high, but if you need a 5 mana 4-4, four, four, it's there. Huggy Mob, 5 mana 5-4 that can boast to deal 1 damage to any target. Um, playable, but there's probably better things you can do on turn 5, or, uh, but to threaten any one toughness creature on your opponent's side of the board is pretty good. Um, playable, but not too great outside of that. Giant Ox, uh, cruise vehicles using its toughness. Um, if you need a blocker, but there's so many good things to do on turn two on this set. Um, a lot of solid two drops and foretelling, and even convoying off with a vehicle on this, it's not that great. <laughs> Fearless Pup, uh, I believe we had one in the other pack. Uh, pretty good card, just the threat of activation is so good. Um, it's relevant for the first three or four turns. Um, and yeah, it's pretty annoying to deal with. Uh, pretty good. Gold Vein Pick, plus one, plus one, and creates a treasure if it deals damage to a player. Um, this is okay equipment. Uh, the one man equip makes it a little more appealing. Um, treasure, not too relevant, but I guess it's pretty good in like an aggro deck or mid rangey deck. Still not great, it's just okay. Elder Fang Disciple, uh, it is an elf, and it is a ravenous rat, essentially, uh, making your opponent discard a card. Uh, early game, pick something off, late game, not as useful, because usually people are emptying their hand faster with Fortel less incentive incentive to hold cards in hand um yeah so pretty good card nonetheless grizzled outrider five mana five five it's an elf it's a warrior relevant creature types in this set i think but it's just vanilla playable if you need it stalwart valkyrie uh this one's pretty good because format three two flying is already it's all right but if you ever get to do the alternate cost of paying two, like if something like your two drop or one drop gets removed and you get to play this out early, it's just so good and so annoying to deal with. Um, pretty good, higher on my pick list, I think. Augury Raven, uh, this card's just good. Um, I mean, most of the time you'll get it out turn three. If not, a four mana three three flyer is just great uh, most of the time, you know. Grim Draugr, 3 mana, 3, 2, Snow Creature, can pay 1 in the snow to give plus 1, plus 0, and Menace until end of turn. Um, it's okay, 3 mana, 3, 2 is just average, um, but if you do have snow, I guess the giving it Menace, a 4, 2 Menace, is pretty annoying. Um, whatever two things uh, that will block it will probably trade. Um, but it does require you to have snow mana, so not first pickable, in my opinion. Divine Gambit is just pretty bad removal. Uh, I mean, in an ideal world, you use it late game, but by then, do you need this late game? <laughs> yeah, this card's just bad. Harald, King of Skemfar. Um, this card's not bad, because 3 mana, 3, 2 menace is already good. I mean, you compare it to Grim Draugr. Granted, this is a two-color card, but through Mana 3, 2 Menace, and then it's not too hard to find your Elf or Warrior. Um, you just incidentally have some if you happen to be green-black, uh, but certainly not first pickable. Still pretty good, though. Lit Yara Mirror Lake, the green-blue uh, activated land. This one's... Um, 
a little weaker just because you need a board in order to do something with it but it does copy uh, your best creature uh, unfortunately at sorcerer speed but it's still good um, I mean just such a low cost right to put a land in your deck so the I like this cycle it's fun Cosmos Charger is the rare um, yeah I mentioned that four mana three three flying is good give it flash give it a relevant ability because blue has a lot of foretell cards I think this is meant to be in a blue white foretell deck but this card's great um, you can most of the time get it out on turn three um, and it's yeah this card's a beating Alpine Meadow is the Snowland, and this is our token. Uh, to quick review, a lot of like okay playable cards, but I think my first pick would be Cosmos Charger. Um, yeah, it's just a good card. Flash Flying, it's everything you would want in all these playable cards, I guess. So this would be my first pick. I think it's a pretty easy first pick, but if you disagree, let me know and discuss below. Thanks.